How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today I want to go over a brand new DLC that's going to be dropping September 19th, 2023. And the first thing that we're going to be taking a look at here is the Oxbow 2340. This thing is a really awesome wind drawer right here. It's got some really cool functionality to it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it in the store. So with this DLC, you're going to get four pieces of equipment. The last one on the right is the one we're taking a look at today. $158,000 base price. And the only thing you can customize is the tires. I'm going to zoom in right here a little bit. You can see that we've got Trelleborg. You've got some BKTs. You've got some Vattersteins. And then you're back to Trelleborg. Now, on each of these, you don't have any wide options or anything like that. So three different tires is all you've got. Your license plate, of course. Now, the 2340 is 12 meters wide and says it goes 11 miles an hour. I have been able to get it up to 12. And we're going to do a test here in a little bit to see if we can get it to go even faster than that. It's really cool. On your selected work mode, all you got to do, hold your R1 and then hit your L3 button. And it's going to toggle between left and right. On this one, you do not have any center. Now, I know there is a base game one that you can even go center on that. This one does not have that. It's left and right only. I'm going to stay on right right here. And we're going to go ahead and turn this thing on. And go ahead and get started here. And you can see it makes a pretty good pile. Now, once again, you can see I'm going 12 miles an hour. And then the awesome thing about having this go to the right is whenever you get down to the end and it's ready to flip around going back the other way, well, it's going to make the pile extremely large for you. And the benefit of that is you're only having to pick up one row instead of two different rows here. I said we were going to be taking a look to see if we can get this thing to go any faster. And right here is the first setup that I want to try out. Now, this right here is your Lizard Tandem Pack. It's a really, really awesome mod. I've been doing a bunch of other videos on it. If you're interested to see how you can tie a whole bunch of different pieces of equipment together or how to make them go faster, you definitely want to make sure you check out those other videos. They're in a my fast farming playlist. Now, I've also got the draw bar right here by Anton ATL. So with this combination, I should be able to maybe go faster with this. And the reason I'm using the... Uh, the tandem right here is because I needed a three point attachment. So you can see right here is the three point, and then I'm going up here, and this is going to be the part that actually makes it go faster or should make it go faster is this draw bar right here. Doesn't matter what position, raised or lowered, this thing is in. It should go a little bit faster. Let's give it a try. All right, so we're here. I've got everything turned on, and let's just go ahead and hit the gas and see exactly what happens. Now, before I was able to go 12 miles an hour. And that is the exact same speed that I'm still able to go. All right, that was test number one. So I know this looks a little bit crazy, but hear me out, okay? This is the SP10M. This is by Ridiculous Dominic. Now, this is a plow, yes. But if you look right here, it has a three-point attachment on the back. So I'm really curious. Can we attach it here? Get this thing to fast farm. Because in my stream on Wednesday night, I was actually able to get some stuff to attach to this and fast farm. So we're going to give it a go and see if we can do it here again. I'm going to go ahead and back up and then we can see it attaches. Perfect. So now what I need to do is go ahead and lower this thing down, which it is. It looks like it's going to be right there. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Now let's go right back over this pile right here and see if we could do this. Now I am going faster already, but... But will it actually make a windrow? So it should be throwing everything to the left again. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, hit the cruise, and away we go. And yes, yes, it is. All right, that's awesome. 21, 23, 26, 7. Guys, it is going to max out at 32 miles an hour. Now, one piece of advice you're not going to be able to use the work with. All right, because it, the way it's set up, it's a plow. Whenever you hire the worker, guess what? It's going to start plowing. So this can only be used if you are doing it yourself. But hey, 32 miles an hour. That's insane. Well, you guys should know by now, when I bring out the special colored special edition Mac Trucker 921 at Case Magnum right here, I've got something crazy hooked up behind it, and today is no different. So we've gone ahead and used the Tandem 39,000 right here. I've also got one of these smaller ones right here. This is like the regular 9,000, and I've got the three-point attachment on here, and it's hooked up to our regular Oxbow 2340 right here. Now, over on the other side, what I've done is I've hooked up a Snuffle Stuck right here, just a regular pin attachment, and then... 
I'm using its own three point attachment here for another 2340. They may be asking, driver, why in the world are you running two of these hooked up to a tandem? Well, guys, we're going to see if we could go 20 meters wide on this setup right here. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a staggered offset right there. So what I want to do is go ahead and go back here to the very back. And I'm going to go ahead and just lower these things down. And I'm going to go ahead and turn them on. All right. I'm going to bring out my help menu right here. And I can see that it's to the right is where my um, work mode is at. What that's going to do is it's going to push it in front of the other one that's back there behind right now. Now I'm going to toggle over to the other one right now. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. And then I want to make sure that the work mode is on the right. It is. And we're going to go ahead and turn it on as well. Now, as I start to drive forward, it should be pushing 20 meters wide all the way over to the right hand side. And yes, yes, it's working. And I'm going to hit a tree. No, I didn't. All right, we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and start driving right here. As you can see, the first one on the right hand side of the screen or the driver's left is pushing it over into front of the other one. And then we have a massively, massive, huge windrow over there on the other side. Now, the reason I've got this one set up like this instead of using the other one and having the fast farming is because I want to try and hire a worker. So I haven't done anything except just turn around here. So let's go ahead and hire a worker. And yes, it's going to do it absolutely perfect 12 miles an hour. And we are going at 20 meters wide, just about. We're losing a little bit there in the middle because I, I realized that if you have these sitting side by side exactly without an offset like this, that it's just going to dump right in the middle or it's going to dump over on the side. I mean, maybe you want that. Maybe you want two of these to be pulled and it just dumps it directly in the middle, perfectly in line with your tractor right here. We'll try that setup. Just get two tandems or two snuffle stocks, pull them together. If you want to see how to adjust the tandem, it's pretty simple. All you're going to have to do is be selected on it right here. Then you're going to hold your L1 and then you can go, or your R1, sorry. And then you can go left and right on your right analog stick. That's going to bring these things closer together or farther apart. Once again, that's R1 and your L3, your right analog, move that left and right. And that's going to be able to bring those in and out. And right here, we've got the AT4103. And this thing is a... Fertilizer spreader. Yeah, you're going to be able to put down slurry or digestate. There's something very, very important that you need to know about this. And I know what you're going to say. There's always something important to know about all these mods. But reality is this mod, this DLC, you only get four pieces of equipment. And if I look at the 4103 here, it doesn't have any type of attachment on the back. You've got to use something, either a mod or base game. And if I come down here to slurry tankers and then I go across, there's not really that many options. I mean, you've got some stuff that you can cultivate with as well i mean you've got this one right here which is the one that i was just using you've got the ones with the arms here now these things are 21 meters wide you've got these bad boys right here which are 30 meters wide but i'm going to show you something very very important about these and even this one right here at 36 so any of these that the arms fold around the piece of equipment well there's a slight problem is that you're, you're not going to fit you're just going to keep pushing it forever and ever and ever there's no way to actually open it up to be able to get in there to be able to attach it to the 4103 or the 5105. But as you can see, I've got a little bit of a trick going on back here right now. Yes, I'm using the Snuffle Stuck. I absolutely love this mod. It does so many awesome things for us. And what I want to do right now is go ahead and unfold this equipment. Now, these are some arms that are going to fold up. I, they're a little bit shorter than what the absolute longest ones are, but you're going to be able to do the exact same thing. All right, so now once this gets down here, I'm going to go ahead and lower it down into the ground. And as you can see down in the bottom right-hand corner, my volume is going down. I'm under 22,000 now. If I start to move forward, you can see that the ground is actually changing a little bit of a color. If we get out here and take a look at it. You can see that it does look just a little bit different. And, and it's 50% fertilized versus this out here has got absolutely nothing. So it is working. You gotta use the snuffle suck. I mean, it's it's really the only way. I mean, maybe any other dolly that's got an, a three point attachment back here, um, but this one it it hooks up fairly fairly easy. Now the problem is you don't have a whole lot of capacity in this thing. I mean, this thing right here was only about twenty two or twenty three thousand liters. How do you improve that capacity and get I don't know, say two hundred thousand liters? Well, that's pretty easy. All you're gonna need is a back lifter and an 82 Studios Global Goods Transport Pallet. 
Yes, 200,000 liters capacity is what you have right here. Now, the interesting thing about this setup right now, I don't actually have anything in the uh, tank, the main yellow tank that you see right here. I don't have anything at all. All of my product is in the back, um, the pallet back there. So 200,000 is what I started with. Everything is in there. I don't have anything in my machine right now. My volume's going down, so I'm not having a worker buy this. So yeah, it, it, it's awesome, guys. 200,000 liters plus the original capacity on this. And you may be wondering, well, driver, why didn't you just put a trailer behind it? I mean, there's some really big tankers with a lot of really big capacity. Well, the problem is you can't hook a trailer up to this stuff right here. When you've got this right here going on, your trailers will not attach. So the best thing that I've found right now is this 82 good or the 82 studios global goods transport pallet guys it's a phenomenal mod you get it in a dry bulk also and the direction that i've got this going right now is the discharge is pointed at my equipment right here i don't know if that makes a difference but this is the way i hooked it up and it's working i don't i don't want to try the other one just in case it doesn't now it does take a little bit to put together i'm not gonna lie it it was a little bit complicated because well here here let me show you all right, so I've got this thing like this, right? And what I want to do is go ahead and detach my stuffle stuck. Well, the problem is whenever I pull forward, see, it it just, it, it goes way high. And I, there's no way for me be, to be able to get that pulled down with, you know, with, with normal, with my hands, right? I, I don't have super strength or anything like that. So what I found out is that if I go to this right here, my back lifter, and I can go up and down with this thing, right? So I use my L1 and I can go up and down on my right joystick or I can go left and right and do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this thing all the way up. Now I'm going to back up, all right? I'm going to back up to about right here. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and go like this and then just start taking this down. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you see that? Then you're going to back up, do a little bit more, back up again, back up again. You're going to get the message. Boom. There you go. Now, immediately, <laughs> what you need to do is go back to your uh, back lifter, kind of get this thing out of the way a little bit, and then you're going to be good to go. So it's going to kind of freak out for a little bit. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. All right. Now, if I want to fold up those arms, I need to go back to the back and then just fold them up. So I got to make sure that I'm on the right one. And there we go. Now, driving this thing around, it is a little bit interesting because the... Um, the arms want to kind of, I don't want to say hold it in place, um, but it doesn't let it move as much as it should. But this is a really, really awesome, large capacity uh, piece of equipment here because, I mean, you don't really have this in any other mods that we have in the game right now. So really, really excited about this one. I, I think this one is going to be a very, very uh, popular one for those people that like to like to cheat a little bit, but still want to use this DLC. I mean, there's a lot of people that got the year two um, season pass, and they have the DLC now. So, so how do you how do you use it for your playstyle? Right, that's the thing that I wanted to share here. Right here, we've got the AT4103. Yes, it's also a manure spreader. But as you guys can see, I'm doing a little bit of fast farming right here. Now, it's not necessarily fast, but it's doing two things at once, which is kind of like the same thing, right? I've got a very big plow on here and we're putting down the manure at the exact same time, two steps in once. And to make this setup right here, you're gonna need the Oxbow AT4103. Make sure you go ahead and get the manure version right here. We've also got the tandem set right here. This is the Lizard Tandem Pack. And then right here, this is the Lizard SM72, SM82. And I'm actually using the 82 right here because it goes all the way out here as far as the manure spread will go. Now it's it's really interesting. Like it starts to get a little bit of fertilizer in front of the plowing and then it plows and then you get a little bit of fertilizer like behind it. But the interesting thing is it doesn't show it, right? So I think it's all happening before. Let me show you on the map exactly what it looks like. As you can see right here in field 70 is where I'm at right now. And this whole area right here is what I just put down of all of my uh, fertilizer. Well, the really interesting thing is it's actually showing up as two applications you can see the rest of this field only has one but this is dark blue that means that it's two applications at once if i come down here to my needs plowing and i turn this on you can see that it's right on the edge of that there is a little bit that's not getting fertilizer that's getting plowed 
I went ahead and activated my help menu here. And if I hit my L1, you can see that if I hit my right um, directional button, it says activate double application rate, which means that right now I should be in standard mode. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just go ahead and turn this thing on. And we're gonna put a little bit more down here in the field. Okay, I've moved just a little bit farther. Let's go ahead and turn this on now. And we're gonna see if we get any difference at all in the color of our fertilizer. As you can see, I'm coming up to another area right here that's already been done. Let's take a look at the map and, and no, there's no difference at all, which means that without having to put down double fertilizer, it's actually putting down double fertilizer. That's awesome too, guys. That's another trick that I didn't even realize I was doing with this. So yeah, you're gonna get to put down double fertilizer because it's putting it down before and then plowing and then I guess kind of after. I mean, that is weird. I do not understand why that is happening like that, but you can see the rest of this field is is absolutely, I mean, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. All right, I'm gonna run a little bit more of a test right here. I'm just gonna do the manure by itself. So I'm doing this first little bit and you can see that it should be on single application right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do double application and it's actually slowing down to like six miles an hour but it's fine. So this should be putting down two levels of fertilizer. So it should be a dark blue. Now let's go ahead and put back down single. I'm speeding back up to 12 miles an hour now. And let's go ahead and take a look at the map and see what this looks like. So yes, you could see right there. This is single application, single application, double application. And all of this right here is double application. Guys, I didn't even realize that when I made this video, that is awesome. I mean, it's, it's, it's fast farming like two, right? Cause you're getting a plow at 26 meters. It's putting down fertilizer at 26 meters. It's giving you two applications. And I don't think it's actually taking up twice the amount of fertilizer. I think you're only using half the fertilizer when you do that. Yeah. Check this out guys. I'm doing it again really quick. And we're getting nine miles an hour. Now I know that that is the speed of the plow and not the, the oxbow piece of equipment here, but whenever we were doing the double application over there, we were actually only getting six miles an hour. So yeah, you're, you're, man, that is, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy guys. All right. So I've got another one of these right here, the 4130s, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the double application rate, and I'm going to go ahead and hire a worker and just let them get down to the end and and do their thing right i, I want to see exactly how much manure they use by the end here now what i'm going to do here is go ahead and lower this bad boy down i'm going to leave this on single application rate and i'm going to go ahead and just start going here to see yeah i mean it, it, it this is insane guys absolutely insane i'm going faster than they are and i should be getting the same amount of fertilizer status that they are now i know i'm getting rocks but if you don't like rocks just turn them off um, and yeah, I'm going to see by the time we get down here to the end of this field, how much I've used compared to how much they've used. Well, I mean, I guess I could stop it just about any time. Couldn't I? I've already caught up with them. So let me get just a little bit farther ahead right here. Okay. I'm going to turn this off. There we go. Now let me run over here and see. Okay. Right here. Perfect. All right. They are down to 41% left. All right, 41% left on the worker doing the double, double application, 41%. And I'm at 60. I am at 60% left. I'm getting plowing done, which is saving me time also. I've used less product. Now let's take a look at the map. And I've got the exact same fertilizer status, guys. I'm getting double application here. They did too, and I've got 20% more product than they do. Oh, that's like a win, win, win. It's faster. I get two things done at once and I'm getting my free fertilizer. Yeah, free fertilizer guys. Now, one thing with this setup, I do not recommend hiring a worker. They just sit there and don't do anything. So on this setup, you've got to do it manually yourself. On the other one, you absolutely can do it um, with a worker. Uh, with a worker, we showed that. We just proved that, that it's going to work. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to go and set up another test that I want to do to see how far back I can have a trailer of product 
and it's still work okay so what i've got are two of my favorite trailers right here this is the x52 temper trailer with a snuffle stuck i mean this thing i mean you can see 250,000 liters in there now that's that's not the best one the best one that i like right here this is part of the tlx phoenix pack it's going to be a trailer platform and then you've got this bed right here but it's going to hold 820,000 liters of product and it's quite a bit shorter it's like half the length right you can get it with tracks you can get it without tracks so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to hook up to this one first because it doesn't have anything in here at all and then i'm going to hook up to this one and then we're going to keep plowing and i'm going to see because i don't have anything in here either right i don't have any manure in here at all i'm going to hook up and see if it'll still work with that trailer all the way back there in the back now i really don't know if this is going to work or not because the tongue of that first trailer is like in the ground like really really bad in the ground but as you can see nothing in this uh compartment right here nothing in the next trailer and 820,000 liters of product in the back one so let me toggle over to here i'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing and guys it's working it's working set the cruise and away you go do you know why this is so cool well the reason is because i could fill up every one of these right i could fill up the back trailer i could fill up the middle trailer and i could fill up this one right here and that's going to give me almost 1.7 million liters of manure that I can put down on my field and not have to leave, right? And, and not have to leave. I mean, this is insane, guys. And, and if you don't want to plow and you just want to send your worker off and just let them use all the manure that you have in your uh, pigsty or your, your cow barn, right? Just load it up. Load up those trailers right there and then just go. Just let them go. Now, they're, they're not going to be able to put down twice unless you do it right that but if, if you like doing it yourself i mean this isn't that bad and it's not really going to take that long i mean it's it's literally free fertilizer guys free fertilizer by doing this and right here in front of me i have the 6030 now this thing is a multi-row sprayer if you're into vineyards you're definitely definitely gonna want this right here three rows at a time is what it covers but it's actually five because it sprays to the outside too. Let me go ahead and turn this thing on and I will show you right here. Yes, you are covering five rows as you spray this. Now, another really cool thing. I don't know if you can see it very well at all, but with this thing, it self levels. It's really crazy, right? Is because as I'm going along this, right? It's, it's self leveling. I'm on a little bit of a hill right here. Now, there's no way that I've found to be able to get this thing to fast farm or do anything like that. I mean, it's got a 3,400 liter capacity, roughly, or 3,350, something like that. Uh, but there's no no hitch or anything like that back in here. So, unfortunately, there's absolutely no way to be able to fast farm that I've found other than just to use this. Because other than this, you're only doing two rows at a time. And with this one, you're able to do five. Now, that was just one configuration that you could have of the 6030 here. Let me go and show you here in the store. It actually starts out as a harvester or you can get an overloading harvester or the multi-row sprayer. So that's the one that we just took a look at there. But what about this harvester right here? This thing it looks really cool. It's got all your stuff over on the sides and it looks like it dumps out the back. I'm not really sure. Let's jump into the game and take a look at this thing because it's completely different than the other ones that I've seen already in base game. And here it is right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on and we're going to go ahead and get started here. So it's going to harvest just like normal. You Oh, that's a pretty cool animation. I like how it shows that it's shaking in there. That is really cool. Now, you can see back here, it's actually taking it and dumping it to both of the locations over here on the in the back. So I, I think the only way you're going to be able to unload this is if you get past your row and then you just dump it off like you normally would. Now, you can see that we are not getting a lot out of here. Only 370 liters. And that's at 12%. So it looks like this is going to be like a 3,500 liter capacity, roughly somewhere in there. Guys, this is just the first version. What about that other overloading harvester? Yep, that's going to be this bad boy right here. And as you can see, it's got an auger coming off to the right. Now, I've already turned this thing on. So let me go ahead and bring this auger arm back in. I'm not sure exactly why it, it it's there because, I mean, it's it's it's. Okay, let me explain, okay? This thing is very interesting because you can see it wants to come back out, right? It wants to. Even though I'm trying to bring it back in, it just automatically wants to go back out all the time. I mean, it, it's just the way it is. But a very interesting thing about this, let me turn it on. 
and I'm going to go and start harvesting. Well, look at that. I do not have a trailer next to me. And down in the bottom, I don't have a capacity. So that's very interesting, too. You can see the grapes are just like falling off the end, right? I, I, I don't know what that means, except that it like stores it because you can see that there's nothing else on the conveyor belt right now, right? So let me go ahead and pull this underneath here. And now it's filling up. I have 298 liters now. I had 147 before. So very, very interesting on how you're going to be able to actually use this overloading. I mean, I guess the cool thing about it is that if it does this and I can like do a whole field, maybe, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I can do the whole thing, right? There's got to be some point, some internal storage, something like that. But if I could just keep doing this to get all the way to the end of the row and then back and then decide, hey, I'm just going to go and unload right here. I don't know. I mean, th this may be only really for multiplayer is like the intention. I mean, look at that. The grapes are still going. They're just, there's no stopping them. There's literally no stopping them, but I'm going, we're going to harvest this. I'm going to get all the way down here to the end of this row and see how much more this picks up. All right. I have not unloaded this thing at all. I'm just about down here to the very, very end. I'm going to try and leave enough room. Uh, no. All right. We're going to pull off over here to the side. We're going to go get the trailer and see how much it's, this thing has in storage internally. I don't know. All right. So we're sitting at 298 liters right now. Okay. That was a lot more of the row that I've ever done before. So if this thing has an internal storage capacity, the harvester itself, then this should be like, I don't know, six, six, 700, somewhere in there. Let's just go ahead and drive over this. No, 445. Doesn't make sense. All right, well, I just did the math on that. And yeah, it's like 147 to 150 liters is pretty much what the internal storage is. All right, so don't harvest all your vineyards and then unload it. You're, you're, you're going to get 150 liters, maybe. And here's a little bit more of that self-leveling I was telling you guys about. I don't know if you can see it, but the left side of the machine, the driver's left, is definitely closer to the ground, like shorter. The actuator there uh, is a lot closer than the one over here on the right. So it's like trying to self-level, even though I'm on just a little bit of a hill. And if I go this way, you're going to see that it's going to switch, right? So that's what it's doing. If you're on some pretty aggressive hills... It's, uh, it's going to try and keep that nice and level the cab level for you, which is going to be, you know, you, you need that to be able to, to harvest the vines properly because the vines go straight up and down, right? So I, I understand why it's doing it. But what I don't understand is why we have a harvester that you can't really use in single player. I mean, if you're on PC, you've got course play, which you could probably set up. I, I haven't done that with vineyards yet, but I don't see why it wouldn't. But I mean... You're going to have to drive next to it the whole time anyway. So why not just harvest? I mean, this is an odd one to me. It really, really is. But this one right here. Oh, I totally get this. Five rows at a time being able to fertilize. That is awesome. And if I look at here a little bit closer, you can see there's absolutely no way to attach anything that even resembles a trailer onto this thing. I don't see any way to attach a front lifter or anything like that to be able to get extra capacity. I think it's... It, it is the way it is, guys. It is the way it is. Unfortunately, if you're interested in this, you can absolutely check out the link down below in the description. I'm going to have a link to the PC version of this. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on my future DLC content here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go ahead and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time. This is Driver 53, signing off.